My exploration of Yiddish-speaking Brooklyn continues with a trip to Borough Park. This neighborhood has 36,000 Yiddish speakers and is the largest group of Jewish people in the United States. To learn more about this community, I meet up with Jacob Gluck. He's the founder of Hasidic Williamsburg Tours and currently works as a teacher. Hey, Zephyr, it's good to meet you. Jacob, so nice to meet you. Thank you so yes. much. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you around Borough Park. Borough Park is the predominant Orthodox neighborhood in Brooklyn, and it's also known for its diversity. There are many different sects and different streams of Orthodoxy here, including the Haredi version, mm -hmm. which is known as ultra-Orthodox also. The ultra-Orthodox Haredi community regards itself as the most religiously authentic group of Jews. They maintain a strict observance of Jewish law and segregate themselves from modern society. This is basically the, the groundwork, the cornerstone of the borough park that you see nowadays, which, which has transformed into ultra-orthodoxy, which is a step above mere orthodoxy. So orthodox is simply uh, people who keep a halakha. Halakha is Jewish law, as passed on over many centuries. The Haredi movement, also known as ultra-orthodox, uh, takes it a step further and says that not only do you have to keep the law, but they also strive towards separatism. Mm -hmm. Meaning they're saying, we're not gonna be part of the mainstream culture. When you were growing up, what'd you speak? I spoke Yiddish. Okay. Yeah. Do you do you think in Yiddish still? Oh, it's a good question. I remember when I transitioned. Oh, when was speaking, it? Speaking, uh, thinking from Yiddish to English. That was at about about age nineteen. Uh huh. What happened? It 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 was a conscious decision. I uh, when I left the community, mm -hmm. I had to uh, uh, adopt the American norm, mm -hmm. which is the English language, and I knew that I had to do that in order to assimilate, which was my ultimate goal. Why did you choose to leave? In one word, ideology. I, I didn't believe in the system anymore. The godly things, yes. the, the world to come, observing the mitzvot, uh, doing God's will, things like that. They, they meant nothing to me. How many Jews live in Borough Park who are not either Orthodox or ultra-Orthodox? Overwhelmingly ultra-Orthodox, I would say. And you grew up here? And I grew up here, yes. I grew up in the 80s. This is the heyday of ultra-orthodoxy in America, in my opinion. And maybe I'm being romantic about it, okay. but this I really think that that was the heyday. <laughs> so can you give me a nice, welcoming Yiddish phrase so I can chat with people in Baroque? Uh, okay, I have a good one for you. Okay. This one is one of my favorites. Mekenish Townsend of Zwei Hassanis. Mekenish Townsend of Zwei Hassanis. You got it! I can't dance on two weddings. What is that? I can't dance on two weddings. You can't enjoy two festivals at the same time. You gotta oh, choose which it's one. A, oh, it's a metaphor. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah. Do you my, speak Yiddish at home? My son speaks with his children Yiddish. He became Hasidic. So, you know, one of the questions is, you know, what is the role of Yiddish in the community? Well, like I say, my son speaks to everybody, most, most of the people around here standing here. Do you see it connected to religion in a way? Here in Borough Park, for sure. Okay. We're not what you would call the Yiddishists. Uh -huh. Because those are the people who admire the language. They make a contrived effort to retain the language. Here yeah. it's natural, oh, it's organic. Okay. Exactly. Okay. They, they, they pick it up from their right. parents. Mm -hmm. And the Yiddishists are secular. I grew up here. My heart is very, very I'm Jewish. I'm wearing a wig because that's what Orthodox oh. women in Borough Park wear oh. wigs. Uh -huh. But I'm a little bit, you know, my earrings. Oh, no. yes, I'm you guys. wearing a denim dress. <laughs> You know, but I allow myself to be who I am. Uh, in contrast to what you might have seen in Williamsburg, this community here is much more open to outsiders coming in, interviewing them, you know, conversing with them, and uh, they're in, they they want to know about the world outside of them. Well, thank you for uh, giving this little slice of Borough Park and the slice of history. Um, I've, I've forgotten the wonderful thing about dancing at two weddings, but I, I will keep... Mekenish Townsend of Zwei Hassanis. Mekenish Townsend of Zwei Hassanis. You get it. And then do you I... You only go to one wedding. You gotta <laughs> choose which one.